Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm CE Tech Dude. Thanks for joining me. You know, mobile gaming has come a long way in the last year or so. You've got like PUBG on the phone, Fortnite on the phone, Call of Duty on the phone, your mom's on the phone telling you good night, sweet dreams, maybe. I don't know. That was. Anyways, it's come a long way. And the main thing keeping me from mobile gaming a lot is the controls. The on screen controls just aren't fun to use, in my opinion. Well, there's got to be a better way, and there is. Today we're going to be looking at the Fly Digi Wasp 2. This little gadget uh, slides onto your phone and makes on-screen controls a thing of the past, mostly, halfway. You'll see what I mean. Here we go. So guys, I'm just going to walk you through what, basically how to use this, uh, this Fly Digi Wasp 2. So it comes in this nice little carrying case. Yeah, it's very cool, uh, very rigid, so it's not going to break if you keep it in your bag or your pocket if you have big cargo pants, you know. No, no judgment there. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get to see what's in this little, this is the Elite Premium version that they sent me to test out. So it comes with a few little extras, like this uh, little button on the back that gives you one extra little button, which is pretty cool actually. Uh, a little trigger on the back, so that's neat. Um, but in the box you get, of course, the Fly Digi Wasp 2. So this is basically half a controller, so it lets you use your other, uh, other side of your phone, the touchscreen controls, which that's fine because the other side of the phone, the controls are really just like fire and just like reload and you know, stuff like that, nothing major. Um, but this gives you a cool little joystick on here, two buttons on the front, two triggers, and of course you get that button on the back if you get the Elite version. So that's pretty sweet, and this thing feels very premium in the hand, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so it's got rubber on the back, uh, nice textured plastic, feels, feels really good. And it fits all sizes of phones because you have this little button here that pop that out, boom. You can slide your phone in there, easy peasy lemon squeezy, even fits with a case on there. So yeah, look at that. That's pretty futuristic looking, I'm not gonna lie. So if you don't have like the ROG Phone 2, you know, phones that have the air triggers on top, this gives you triggers, galore, buttons, and let me tell you, I'm not very good at Call of Duty, but with this, I, I, I slay the competition. And you can too. Maybe, I don't, I don't know, it depends on your overall video gaming skills, because this isn't gonna make you like awesome. Maybe it will, it made me awesome. I digress. So, anyways, that's what it looks like. Um, in the box, you also get a little replacement joystick. That's pretty cool, just in case your other one breaks. And, thank the heavens, this uses USB-C, boom, instead of, you know, micro USB, because it's just so old school to use micro USB and I want USB-C on all the things. So, yes, USB-C, sweet. All right, so that's what you get in the packaging, and now I'm gonna walk you through the setup process. This is kind of boring, but you know, it's important because I want you to get the best experience, and to do that, I wanna show you how to set it up. So, first thing you're gonna wanna do is zoom in here on my phone so you can see what I'm doing, and you're gonna wanna open up the Fly Digi app that you'll download from the Play Store. So it's the Fly Digi Game Center, when you do that, it's gonna ask you a few things. Um, you're gonna have to authorize a few things in here. So yeah, you allow it to display over other apps on Android. I don't have an iPhone to test, but the setup process probably is a little similar to this. You just gotta have the app. Oop, I don't know what that is. And boom, so it's gonna read some basic ID. That's fine. So here we go. Now that that's opened up, you're gonna to wanna to take your Fly Digi Wasp 2, slide the power button to full throttle as they say, as I say. And it should automatically pair up with the app once you hit connect here. Wasp 2, click that. It says to, oh, and look at that. It's good to go, gamepad connection successful, sweet. And there we go. So that gives you basic controller functionality, um, but you don't really want the basic with this guy because the basic doesn't give you on-screen control control. Yeah, on-screen controls control, yeah. So you're gonna have to do a few more things on Android specifically, which that's where I'm gonna come in and show you exactly what to do. So you gotta add, this little activate button is gonna show you how to put on USB debugging on your phone. If you don't wanna do that, I'm gonna show you real quick because it's all in Chinese and I don't read Chinese, so you're gonna wanna go down to your system and then about phone. And then on software information, this is gonna activate developer mode if you don't wanna do that. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you don't have to, because like I said, it does give you basic control controls, but I want the on-screen controls because that's what makes this thing really stand out. So hit that like, oops, sorry, no, actually you do build number. 
here. So hit that until it says you are now a developer in your device. Okay, and there you go. Now it says I'm a developer. So let's go see if that's true. So you have new, now have a new option called developer options. So click that, go down here to where it says USB debugging and click that and say, okay, okay. Now that's done, go back here to the game center. Go back to the main screen and you should be able to hit activate there. And then you got to take, Oh, yeah, I mentioned there's like a little secret compartment here, and that's where you'll charge Fly DigiWise, but look at this. There's also a sweet little USB-C port, oh, sorry, USB-C cable built into this guy. So this is what you're gonna need to do now is gonna plug in that USB-C port to your phone. To get that activated, you gotta activate USB debugging. USB debugging is enabled on my phone, so you plug this in here with this little, it says allow, oh, there we go. So always allow from this computer is what you wanna check here. Hit allow, and now we've got the full activation mode complete. Sweet. So yeah, it's a nice handy little uh, flexible USB cable. Just comes right out of the device and closes back in, so there you go, good to go. All right, so now that we've got that all set up and enabled, now is where the fun really happens. So open that, plug that in, slide it in, Boom, give me a little more room here. Okay, so now that we've got that, uh, I've got Call of Duty already installed in here. I'm gonna show you how good I am at Call of Duty because of this guy, because otherwise I'm not good at the game at all. So, got a few tutorials popping up here. So it's basically pretty much uh, mapped the controls for you already, but if you have any trouble mapping the controls, you can actually change the, how the way the controls are mapped, but hopefully we should be good to go already. Let's get this loaded up. As you can see, my character's already moving with my with my joystick, so that's pretty cool. It means it's working, so let's hit start. So B is mapped to the start button, so hit start there. Start, and guys, get ready for some fun. As you can see, I got a control stick now in here, and the other half of my screen is touch screen, which is fine with me. So like I said, you can adjust the controls here if you want to. You can hit this little button up here and it brings up the Fly Digi config option. And this is where you go to adjust. So as you can see, the button's already mapped. I got left trigger, left stick. I'm gonna pull that up just a little bit. Got left bumper here, and then A, B. And if you wanna hit, make the reload button something, so I'm gonna make reload the back, the back trigger back here, so that's the M key. So do that, and boom. We are good to go, so hit apply there. Now it's time to slay some guys. Here we go. Lost the lead. Boom. Reloading. Online. Oh, and by the way, it also has a click, thumbstick click, so that's another button right there that you can map. Uh, so that's pretty sweet as well. Target down. Reloading. Makes it so much easier just to use this thumbstick for movement and these triggers on top are awesome. And there you go, got the, got the dub. So one thing to note is you always wanna launch the games from the Fly Digi Boss Game Center. And if you wanna add a new game, so add games here, it'll bring up all your apps and you can add a game there and it'll put a launcher here for you and that way you have the overlay so I'm gonna go ahead and open PUBG Mobile and show you that that works as well. Here we go. Now the only thing, I, the only problem I found is that when you're in a vehicle, the controls don't really translate to, so you have to use the on-screen controls. But overall, 
It works really well for both PUBG and Call of Duty. Very responsive buttons, guys. I'm not, not gonna lie to you, these are very responsive. And it just feels good. I mean, it's, it feels premium in the hand. Overall, I'm very happy. So here's a vehicle I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by not translating. Sorry, teammate. So see, it moves around, but it, you still have to, since the buttons are kind of weird here, still have to use the on-screen controls for this. Not a big deal though. You don't have to be super precise when you're driving anyways. And the only thing I'm not a super fan of is these, these buttons right here, you have to move your hand off the thumbstick to use. Not a huge deal, but kind of annoying. But like I said, it gives you seven extra buttons. So I'll take what I can get. As you can see, uh, you can even beat people that have guns and you don't have a gun with the flat as you lost. So that's pretty, <laughs> pretty funny in my opinion. Give me your gun, bro. Give me your gun. So unfortunately this device does not work with Fortnite though. Fortnite, uh, if you have USB debugging enabled, it'll kick you back to the menu. Won't let you play the game. So that kind of stinks. It may work on iPhone or iPad, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So my friends, that's my take on the Fly Digi Wasp 2. I think it's a pretty neat little gadget. It adds a level of comfort to mobile games that I otherwise don't have, and that makes me not very good at the games, and this makes me good at the games, mostly. So to be good at video games in the first place, which I'm not always the best, but that's my take on it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you wanna buy the Fly Digi Wasp 2, use a link in the description below. Really enjoyed you watching my video, and hope you enjoyed watching it. So thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day. I'm C Tech Dude. Talk to you later. Bye.